Okay, so in this video, I'll be talking about how to create a sort of a simple recipe cost uh, analysis calculator on Excel. Um, most schools have Excel installed. Uh, some of you guys can't afford the sort of uh, software that actually sort of creates this, though. But it's a very simple sort of spreadsheet that you can produce for yourself. Okay, so I've laid it out as follows. We've got the title at the top: Recipe Cost Analysis Calculator. You can call it what you want, effectively. But we're going to be focusing on the ingredients. Um, the user or the, the student, I suppose, wants to probably put the pack size and the pack cost in uh, pounds, okay? And then what the calculator will basically do is divide the price per gram. So it will divide, um, in this case, C3 there, the pack cost, okay, and divide it by B3, which is the pack size, which will give you a price per gram, or if it's a liquid, a price per milliliter. So if we just put this in, if we've got a pack size of 100 grams, and it costs one pound effectively, a price per gram of one pence there, or 0 0.01 pounds, okay? Um, we can then put in the amount they're using, so in the case of this, 300 grams, which will obviously be three packs, therefore, and therefore the cost is three pounds. Now, what the, the calculator does, obviously, is it adds this here, gives you a cost for the portion that you're using. You can obviously put multiple portions, and it will uh, double this up. Um, and then it will give you a total cost down the bottom there. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to produce this. So first of all, I'm just going to create a new sheet, and we're going to give it a title. So we'll call it cost um, spreadsheet. A bit simpler. Okay, and then we're going to put our titles in. Okay, so I'm just going to um, copy these across just to save myself a little bit of time. There's all my um, different prices there, and paste those in. Okay, so they've gone in a bit of a strange format. We can use the format painter here. So if we select something where we want the, the font and stuff to be shared with other bits, we can click on format painter and just drag it across like this. Okay, and there we go, we've got our, our headings. Now some of these are a bit squeezed up. So if we hover up to this bit part of the cell at the top here and we double click, it will set these sizes so that they're perfect for the fit that we're trying to achieve. So I'm just gonna click those across just like that. Now the title. I want that to spread across the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is select all the cells above where um, the titles are, the individual titles, and click Merge and Center. And what I'm going to do is make my font a little bit bigger at the top and maybe turn on bold just so it's it's a bit clearer. I might also make these bold because they're sort of subheadings. That makes it a bit clearer to see. It's made them a bit larger. So again, I'm just double clicking at the top here to set the size of the cells in there, the width of the cell, okay? So if we go back, we've obviously got a series of columns down here, okay? So I've just put my simple prompt in there, which is enter ingredients here. I'm just gonna put that in, paste it across. Yeah, you can obviously write this in. And again, I'm gonna use my format painter, but this time I'm gonna make sure that, that part is not bold, it's just a, a thing, okay? And I wanna copy this down to give multiple spaces for multiple ingredients. So I'm gonna to go to the corner of the cell there and just drag this down like that. That gives me a nice lot of spaces for the student to enter in there. Um, their ingredients okay so the uh, formula we want the only real formula is in this price per gram and it basically is C3 divided by B3 okay so if I just put that in there okay we put the equal sign and we type in C3 divided by B3 and then press enter okay now what it was doing there you can see it's highlighting the cells okay you can do this a different way as well so we can go C3 actually click C3 put the divide symbol and then put B3 and it's showing you the highlighted cells there so we can press enter and then that will give us a, a, a sum there okay there's obviously it's coming up divide by zero because there's nothing in these cells at the moment but if we put in a pack size 100 grams again okay and a pack cost of one pound we should get there we go 0 0.01 now you can see at the moment this isn't in pounds uh, or currency so what I'm going to do is drag down the cells like this and I want to turn this into more like a pound value so I'm going to right click go to format cells and it gives me this uh, format cells box, and I'm gonna to go to currency there. And what I'm gonna do is give myself a few more decimal places so that it gives me um, lots of points. So that is 0 0.01 um, pounds. Okay, now what I'm gonna now do is talk about the amount used in grams. Okay, so I can talk, the, the students can just enter this in. They're gonna use 300 grams, which would be like three uh, pounds there and it's going to do the cost for recipe now cost for recipe is another little formula there, and it is d3 times three uh, e3 so d3 there's the cost per gram and we're timesing it by the amount of grams we're going to use okay so if i just type in again equals d3 times by e3 there okay it's 
taking this and times it by that, which should give me a cost for the recipe, which is three pounds, okay? The number of portions, now they're obviously gonna put in one or two or three or something like this. So let's say there's two portions, okay? If we've got two portions, we want the formula in here to be equals the cost there for the recipe times by the number of portions like that, or sorry, divided by the number of portions, I should say, and that will give me a cost per portion there, okay? Now at the bottom, the cost for a recipe there, if we go right down to the bottom like this, okay, we wanna have a total cost for all of these things. So if we put in equals there and type in the word sum and put brackets, we can just select all of these cells there, close the brackets like that, and press enter, and what it will do is it will total up all of these uh, payments. So if I just put some payments in there as we go down, okay, it's totaling that all up. You'll see again, we haven't got the same format here, okay, so what we can do is literally, like what we've done before, is drag the format down from that one. So we can drag that format down like this. Alternatively, like what we've done before, if we right click, we go to format cells and we choose currency again, yeah, we can get the same currency appearing in there, okay? So that's not appearing as currency. Let's try this again. So right click, format cells, and we choose currency there, not number, and click OK, and then everything comes up as a price, like what we can see. So that's the basic sort of um, format for thing. Uh, the thing, okay, again, if we um, wanted to work out total costs per portion, we could do the same thing. So it's the same sort of sum over here. So if we just go equals sum, open the brackets up and we just select all of these cells like this, close the brackets and then press enter. It will give us a total cost per portion. There's, there's two portions and it will give us an overall cost for the recipe. Now you can play around with this to make it look nicer, but the basic simplest way to do this is to select around the whole thing like this, right click like this and go to format cells and we can put a border on. Now what I like to do is put a large border around the outside. So I'm clicking the thick border and choosing the outline there using the thinner border and clicking inside and clicking OK and then it gives me a basic sort of border and then you can then use some of the like fill tools up here to kind of fill certain areas to differentiate between which are titles and which are uh, other parts of the uh, cell as well. So that is um, basically how we can produce a costing spreadsheet for your food preparation and nutrition project. And none of that recorded.